Asoti and Dola Basho, Laba Kari and Dola Arianda Shadi, Adia Se Shati, Colara Ria de Gazo Shabahai. I am the Masoshebe till Ariando Cabahaya. Keando Sashigari and Dogaria de Soyata Dandi and Dolanda, I am Dandi and Dokabahaya. Ze Cabato Lamahaya. Listen, stretch your hands to the altar. Say, Holy Spirit, I'm engaging in battle. Holy Ghost. Help me as I engage in spiritual warfare against family witchcraft, old ancient witchcraft, or current witchcraft, or future witchcraft. Holy Spirit, help me today. Empower me, Holy Ghost, as I raise my hands unto heaven, realizing it's a fierce battle. I dip myself in the blood of Jesus seven times. Holy Ghost, help me. To fight these evil powers that have been dominant in my family for a long time. I need help. Oh Holy Spirit, empower me. Touch and impact my life. Help me. Strengthen me. Defend me. Fight for me. I am the day Galea Diado Gasi Shalia Duba Hayana. Nadia do Koloria do Vasiana. I am the Kalata Mahaya. Naria di Gasi Shalia do Sashidana. Nada ndi ando kamano la ndi ando la bari ana hayati ha. O si a si a di ando makola batuli ando ando ya hayati le ra haya ha ya ta ndi ando ma ndi ando gele di ando la ma haya na ando ando ndi ando la baka di ando la ma haya na ma haya na ha ya ndi a di gele di ando kaba haya haye se si a li a di ama kola ma haya ah family altars of witchcraft must collapse. Baya tia liya daba gala bahayana Andiando la bahaya No no unknown enemy spiritually Ariya daba haya My God will deal with you And adia daba haya Old or young My daba haya The Lord will deal with you Haka batola Nari andala mahaya Yee bahaya And adiando la baka Tia andala mahaya And adama andiando la Dia jele riya daba haya No Oh, kabata bari anda lama kalaba haya. Stretch your hands. Say, by these prayers, I will escape the sword of my brothers, the sword of my sisters, the sword of my aunties, the sword of my uncles. I say, the sword of my uncles, the sword of family members. I will escape. Nandi andi gabaya da ya da 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 bando aya da da di ya de gali ya da na na mando kamanda nandi ando lama gaya haya. Aya ya do kabasa shata Aya da da di ando laba Kari ando lama anda mahaya Ye le ri adaba ko laba haya Aya da 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 ba di ando lama ko lama haya Anda nana ni ando laba di adama se shalia Hari ataba ko la da 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 ma haya anda ma Aya taba ka e adi ando ba haya Yeye le ria da ba karia de be karia do haya haya tabako la ba na na ma haya. Stretch your hands. Say I connect with a firm connection to this altar that will help me to fight family altars. Say Holy Spirit, help me to connect with a strong connection against evil family altars. Holy Ghost, help me as I stretch my hands towards this altar. I genuinely connect, and so I will collect. My destiny breakthroughs. I connect to this altar. Nothing shall separate you from your connection. Na 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 ba shalari ado ba hayanda. Na di ade gele rari ado kaza shota. Aya tabado la bande nandi ando la ma hayanda na. Na 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 mando ba hayanda. Ke la ba zosha ba haya. Ya tabahari ende karia do la. A kaba tala di ande le beke di ba haya. Stretch your hands. Say from this altar. I will win battles against family altars. Say from this altar, I will connect. From this altar, I will win against evil family altars. Mayanda Mando. Yayayaba Ria Hariadu Kasia. Tahanda Mahaya. Say, Holy Spirit and men of God, you have my permission 
you have my permission to go into my father's house and search and find locate witchcraft powers that are destroying my destiny and listen we're going back into your father's house to get your inheritance i said we're going into your father's house we're going into your father's house to get your wealth listen to what leah and rachel said and the wealth of our children the wealth of our children Shout, Holy Ghost, empower me to deal with family witchcraft. Say, Holy Ghost, I give you permission. Say, Apostle of God, I give you permission to deal with my house. As I pray now in the Holy Ghost, clap in your hands. Holy Ghost, step in. Holy Ghost, intervene. Holy Ghost, get my wealth back. Holy Ghost, get my inheritance back. Holy Spirit, go into my family. Find and locate witches and wizards that have taken my wealth, swapped my virtue. Holy Ghost, go into my family. Find them, locate them, and deal with them. Open your mouth and pray. Are you praying? Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Somebody say, Father, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I give you permission to go into my father's house, locate and silence evil family members from the realm of the spirit. Say, every family member who takes my hope and show off and is now turned to anger, I turn around and I say, Jehovah, deal with them. Open your mouth and begin to pray, 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 pray. We are dealing with family witches here. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Father, you said in your word, in Psalm 101, verse number 8, early we must cut off the wicked. So today, I declare and I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, early we will destroy the wicked. As I pray in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, I release the power of destruction upon all my spiritual enemies from my background. Open your mouth and pray. Early, early, early in the year, early in the year, we are destroying. Early, early, early. Say, Holy Ghost, there are people who bewitch me that I'm not even aware. Remove the spiritual camouflage. Expose them. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. We pray for the exposition of witches in your family. Expose them, Holy Ghost. 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 Listen. Say Holy Ghost. Say, say Holy Ghost. Who we'll raise an altar here and who we'll deal with the enemy with our corporate family altar? Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. I decree Joshua 1 5. No man shall stand before you. Say, no evil family member who stand before my success. You cannot block my success. Say, evil family member, you cannot block my success. You can't, you can't block. Open your mouth and begin to pray aggressively. You can't block my success. You can't block my payment. You can't. You can't. Open your mouth. Decree it. Decree it. Decree it. Lift up your right hand to heaven. Say, the powers of my father's house 
that stopped my father from greatness you will not stop me from this altar as i am praying in the holy ghost clapping my hands i contend with you i confront you open your mouth and pray Lift up a standard, lift up a standard, lift up a standard, lift up a standard. Shout will tear them down. Say evil altars in my father's house, empowering which is in my family. You will compete with you from the sanctuary. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray it. Pray it. Don't toy with this thing. Don't toy with this thing. Deal with this thing. Hallelujah. Are you here? Shout, we are cutting them off. Say, evil doers, we are cutting you off by the power of the Holy Ghost. Say, evil doers, by the power of the Holy Ghost, you will be cut off. Say, Father, arise, cut off evil doers in my background. Open your mouth and pray. Are you praying? Cut off, cut off, cut off, cut off, cut off, cut off, cut off evil doers. In Genesis chapter number is it 37? Joseph's brothers. Shout, they are being cut off. Genesis 37, verse 19 and 20. And come therefore, let us. They spoke, give me verse 18. Now, when they saw him afar off, even before he came near them, they conspired against him to kill him. These were not strangers. These were his brothers. Say evil family conspiracy. Are you here? Say evil family conspiracy. So, and they, they, and they, 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 they conspired against him to kill him. Not just could have broken, but to kill him. The goal was to kill him. Stretch your hands. Say evil family conspiracy. To kill me. Now I know. I tear down that conspiracy. Say evil family conspiracy. By my brothers to kill me. I tear that conspiracy. I tear it down. As I pray in the Holy Ghost. Clapping my hands. I tear that conspiracy. I tear it down. Pray clapping your hands. Pray like you are tearing. 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 Nahum 1 verse 18. Nahum 1 verse 18. And for now I will tear the yoke. Say I will tear the yoke. Now I will break the yoke of bondage from your neck. I will tear it off. Raise your right hand to heaven. Say today. I declare and I decree. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Any yoke placed on me by family members. I tear the yoke. I tear the yoke. I break that yoke. I tear it by this corporate anointing. Holy Ghost, tear the yoke. Tear the yoke. Open your mouth and pray, Mr. Kopas. Tear the yoke. Tear the yoke. Listen, if that yoke remains on you, 
Do you see how you can control a cow with a yoke? It means that they will keep controlling you. Stretch your hands. Say any yoke of bondage from family placed on me even from when I was a child. Holy Ghost fire as I pray in the Holy Ghost clapping my hands. Tear that yoke. Tear that yoke. Open your mouth and step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Tear that yoke. Tear that yoke. Tear that yoke. Look at this. Look at this. And the tear of the yoke and the chains of Assyrian oppressors. The oppressors have a name. Learn to name your oppressors in prayer. Don't say you know Nimrod's name. Mention Nimrod. Mention Nimrod. Nimrod Bedford. Why are you quiet about their name? Do you think they are quiet when they go to evil altars? They don't say <laughs> They mention the name. Are you, are you listening to me? They, they, they don't beat about the bush. Look at your neighbor. Look at, this is your prophet finger. Lift up your prophet finger. Point to your neighbor. Say stop spiritually beating about the bush. Shout fire of the Holy Ghost. Break every chain placed on me by spiritual oppressors. Say, Father, release enough fire to break spiritual yokes placed on me by my enemies to oppress me. Begin to pray now. Pray. At the top of your voice, pray. Pray. Oppressors, oppressors, oppressors. Uh -huh. Say Holy Ghost fight for me Say Holy Ghost fight for me You have raised this altar To help me Fight for me uh, This is my year I cannot have another year Like previous years Fight for me Fight evil Family members who are fighting me? Pray. It's a direct prayer. Fight for me. Fight for me. Fight for me. Listen. Behind your problems that you are facing spiritually, nine times out of ten, there's a family member who is responsible. Stretch your hand to the altar. Say, any family member responsible for this, my condition. Holy Ghost fire, locate them. Holy Ghost fire, locate them. Pray, 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 pray. Holy Ghost fire, locate, lo locate, locate contenders. Locate contenders. Locate contenders. Holy Ghost fire locate. Listen, God says, I will contend with him who contends with you. Why? So I can save your children. Shout, Holy Ghost! There are people in my father's house contending with me so they can get to my children. Listen, the target is to get to your children. So they will contend with you so they can get to your children. Because in your children, there is virtue. In your children, there's stars. In your children, there's divine abilities which the enemy wants. So the enemy is targeting your child 
So he has to contend with you to get to your child. That's why they killed your parents so they can get to you. Say, Holy Ghost, deal with spiritual contenders contending with me so they can get to my children. Say, Holy Ghost, contend with my contenders. Contend with my contenders. Holy Ghost, contend with my contender. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Shout not my children. Shout not my child. Shout not my child. Name your children one by one. Say not my child. Not Melissa. Not Tanaka. Not Tinashe. I said not my children. Not Tinashe. Not Tatenda. Mention your children. Not Tawana. Mention your children. Mention them. Mention them. Pray. Say the enemies in my father's house will not get to my children. I will raise an altar. I will raise prayer. I will increase fire. They will not have access. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Raise prayer. Raise prayer. Raise prayer. Pray seriously, pray seriously. Pray seriously. Stretch your hands. Say this year, none of my children who go to hospital the enemy can pronounce an evil disease on your child you hear doctor saying we've never seen this kind of thing where did it come from it came from evil altars stretch your hands say evil altars sponsoring problems against my children against my future you are collapsing as i pray now in the holy ghost clapping my hands those evil altars collapse, 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 collapse. Pray. Collapse. It's a jubilee seed we are going to sow. Yes. We are going to pray. And God is going to rise up in his anger. And deal with family members that are against your business. Shout, Holy Ghost! Arise in your anger. And deal with evil family members. As I pray right now, in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, let my God arise. And deal with evil family members. Speaking against my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Listen. In the book of First Samuel 17, verse 28 and 29, listen to this. David's brothers questioned him when he came around an opportunity. Killing Goliath was an opportunity. Do you, it? Do you think his brothers did not know that he could fight? They knew. They knew that he could fight. So why should he come around this opportunity? So sometimes you are fought at opportunity stage. The Bible says they ask, what are you doing here? Like they ask you, why are you going to see all these companies? You wait, wait. They are fighting you at opportunity stage. They are fighting you at stage. They are fighting you at opportunity stage. So they release mockery to discourage you. Stretch your hands. Say the spirit of mockery that is in my father's house. I'm coming up against you. Say foul spirit. 
mocking my vision. I'm coming up against you. As I pray in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, spirit of mockery, I wage a war against you. Open your mouth and pray. Mokari, Mokari, Mokari. Say any family member spiritually questioning my divine assignment. I invoke the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to invoke the blood of Jesus. Invoke the blood of Jesus. Invoke the blood of Jesus. We invoke the blood. 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 Hallelujah. And the Lord heard it. Say today the Lord will hear it. Stretch your hands. Say, Lord, listen to what my family members are saying. Even that which I do not know. Holy Ghost, listen to what they are saying. Deal with them according to what they are saying. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. They are saying you will not get married. They are saying you will not rise. They are saying your business will close. They are saying the church will shut down. There are things they are saying. The Lord heard it. The Lord heard it. Stretch your hands. May the Lord hear what your enemies are saying. May the Lord hear the mockery. May the Lord hear the evil wishes. May the Lord hear the evil desires. And may he deal with your enemies in your father's house. Say, Father, I give you permission. Hear what they are saying. Deal with them according to what they are saying. As you heard it for Moses, what Aaron and his sister Miriam were saying. Hear what my siblings are saying. Open your mouth and pray. What a prayer point. What a prayer point. And the Lord had it. And the Lord had it. The Lord must hear it. Hear what my in-laws are saying, Lord. Hear what my in-laws are saying. Hear what my in-laws are saying. Listen. Listen to that grammar. Anzi, has the Lord only spoken through Moses? Do you know what that is saying? Why is he the only one through whom God is speaking? They are jealous because God is doing things with you. <laughs> Say, Father, I have family members that are angry because of what they are doing in my life. Like Miriam and Aaron were angry because you had started the deliverance of the people through Moses. It's nothing but jealousy. Father, hear the words of jealousy. Jehovah, surprise them. Visit them. Surprise them. Deal with them. I give you permission. Pray. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let him scatter enemies in my family. Hallelujah. Say, Father, today, every evil arrow sent from evil family covens, arrest that arrow. Send it back to sender. Open your mouth and begin to pray back to sender. We are going to win this time. Step it up, step it up, step it up, step it up. Step it up, step it up, step it up. Empara, Ayakato, Esala, Antala, Diapala, Andola, Yakata, 
Yes. 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 Stretch your hands. Most delays of greatness in your life. Family members are responsible. I wish what I was saying is not true, but it's true. Say, family member witchcraft. Delaying my greatness. Your time is up. Your time is up. As I pray, in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, let your witchcraft expire. Pray, pray, pray. Look at this. Look at this. Give me verse 2. Psalm 64. And they hide me from the secret plot of the wicked. From the re rebellion of workers of iniquity. Next verse. Who sharpen their tongue like a sword. And bend their bows to shoot the arrows. What are the arrows? Bitter words. Bitter words. So I ask God, Taura, those words are arrows. Hey. Say bitter words. Say bitter words. Lift up your right hand. Say, Holy Spirit, my enemies, they are speaking bitter words. As I pray now, in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, those bitter words, bitterness that I married, bitterness I'm succeeding, bitterness I have a new car, bitterness I have new land, that, those words of bitterness, Jehovah, they are arrows. Tear them down, tear them down. Pray, 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 pray. Bitter words, bitter words. We tear down bitter words. We tear down bitter words. We tear down bitter words. Look at this. Verse 4. And that they may shoot in secret at the blameless. So, you, you are saying, what did I do? You are blameless. Even the Bible is saying you are blameless. Your being blameless does not stop the shooting. So, stop trying to find an understanding. You will never understand it because you are not a witch. Do you know why you don't understand it? Because you are not at the witch coven. Hmm. Say bitter words. And suddenly they shoot at him. The problems come from nowhere. Suddenly. All of it. Ah, no, chest. I'm sorry. Look at that. Say sudden attacks from the enemy. I stop them in the realm of the spirit. Say any planned attack that is a secret attack against my enemies, by my enemies, against me. Such attacks, Holy Ghost fire, locate the attacks, silence them, open your mouth and pray. We silence the attacks. We silence the attacks. We silence the attacks. Listen. That sharp pain bio round is not a biological condition. It is an arrow. There, there. Arrow. I am an arrow. There. Lift up your right hand. Say any attacks by the enemy targeting at me to kill me. I silence that attack. Genesis 49. Did Joseph will? And the archers have shot at him and grieved him. <laughs> The archers have bitterly grieved him, shot at him and hated him. Do you see those scriptures? Say, I'm the Joseph of my family. Uh, you need to announce, Ka. Say, I'm the Joseph of my family. I realize all these attacks are because of my dream. I have a great dream that will elevate the whole family. The enemy is angry. 
because I have greatness in me. Say, Father, they have hated me. They have grieved me. They are the source of my grief. They shoot at me because they hate me. Holy Ghost, arise. Avenge me of family members. Avenge me of family members. Open your mouth and pray. Uh, we are addressing problems. Pray. Isaiah 54, verse 15. Whoever comes out and gathers against me, they are falling for my sake. Say this week, evil family members, you are falling for my sake. Open your mouth and begin to pray. They will fall for your sake. They will fall for your sake. They will fall for your sake. <laughs> they will fall for your sake. They will fall for your sake. Listen. I have a question. Why did Genesis 4, 8 to 9, why did Cain rise up and kill Abel? Jealousy. Huh? That's number one. Can I give you a new revelation? He needed blood. He had joined the occult. Okay. Younger than your competition. It was an issue of competition. Abel was doing well. Cain was not doing well. This So, Cain gave a rubbish offering to God. God didn't accept it. Abel gave an acceptable offering. God accepted it. Listen to what you have, the part you have not read. And it came to pass in the process of time. That means it stopped being about the offerings given to God. And it started being about how things then panned out. Abel was now rising. Cain was not submitted to God. He joined the occult. And they say, kill your brother. Bring his blood. But the blood of Cain, of, of, of Abel, backfired on Cain. You don't have to believe what I'm saying. It happens in families. I've just found a scripture to back it up. So, in jealousy, they will go and consult evil altars. So, after he consulted evil altar, he was told, go, go and get his blood. Jealousy ends up in murder. In Old Testament, they killed physically. Beyond the New Testament, they killed spiritually. There are people who are dead. The Bible talks about the walking dead. Don't you hear demons? We are going to reverse that whole thing. Amen. Lift up your right hand. Shout jealousy witchcraft. Yes, you will not work. Yes. Jealousy witchcraft. Yes. That wants to lead to murder. You will not work. Yes. Say jealousy witchcraft. Yes. Assigned against me. You will not work. Holy Ghost, arise, locate jealous witches and tear them down. Open your mouth and pray. God, God. Stretch your hands. Set the plan of the enemy to take my blood and mingle it with sacrifice. It will not work. It will backfire. Say every satanic ritual. With my blood. With my virtue. With my pictures. With anything that belongs to me. As a point of contact. 
any rituals done, I reverse them. Shout, Father, reverse rituals done against my destiny. Say, Father, there are family rituals that were done last year that are already fighting me this year. The trends I saw last year, I'm starting to see them this year. Meaning there were rituals done. Holy Ghost! Every ritual done by the enemy of my father's house, reverse those rituals. Pray, clap in your hands. Hallelujah. Listen to this. There's what is called family crown battle. Family what? The Lord spoke through David and said Solomon will be the next king. This Adonijah raised his head. He gathered men. He made preparations to take what was not his. The enemies in your family, they know that God has spoken. They know the prophecy. They know. They were told. They were told that this one is the star. You are the family star. You, you are a star. You are a star. <laughs> so this whole battle is about stars. You are the chosen one. Can you stand being chosen? Because being chosen requires arrows to come at you. Shout, Holy Ghost! Arise! Arrest! Stubborn witches! Holy Ghost! Arise! Destroy! Pompous witches! Holy Ghost! Arise! Fight! Pompous witches! In my family. Holy Ghost. Increase your fire. In my life. Holy Ghost. Increase your potency. Arise. War for me. Against our witches. Begin to pray. <laughs> Come on, raise the holy cry, cry, cry unto God. Raise the holy cry. Pray. 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 Open your mouth and pray. Something is happening, pray. Listen. Most of your spiritual enemies are older than you in your family and they watched you grow up. The, the, the hatred for you is that you represent your father who is their brother. And so your rising means that your father who they hate is rising. Look at that. So they could be your enemies because they were your father's enemies. That's why in Africa there is always, there's always a mention of your father. So when your name starts to go up, who's your father? He's also going up. 
Am I bringing understanding? So don't say why. You are in the middle of a long story, a long battle that started even when your, fa when your father and his brothers were siblings. Blind Bartimaeus. The son of Tameas. Bartimaeus, Agaro, and a brother. What Tameas? <laughs> You don't believe it. You need to believe. You need to believe it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say blindness that came from my father's family members released upon me. Jehovah destroy that power. Whatever wants to make me blind to opportunities that was erected from my father's house. I silence it. Open your mouth and pray. Listen. First Kings 2, verse 23 to 25. Remember Adonijah, Solomon. Solo was very, very Mr. Lover, Lover. Hello? But when it came to spiritual warfare, he was not Mr. Love or Lover. I was saying Mr. Love or Lover. Mr. Love or Lover. Mm, they call me Mr. Bombastic. Call me his solo. I'm Bombastic. Mm. <laughs> then solo, Mr. Bombastic, swore Akabecha. He swore to the Lord saying, May God do for me and more so if Adonijah has not spoken this word against his own life. And so the Lord lives, who has confirmed to me and set me as the throne of da on the throne of David, my father, and has also established, somebody said, the day of establishment. A house for me, as he promised, Adonijah shall, shall be put to death. Mr. Lover Lover went into spiritual warfare. If Solomon did not kill Adonijah, Adonijah would have started again after two years. <laughs> so, Akabeja, Akadijah Jehovah, if you study the Bible, then Solomon sacrificed. First Kings chapter 3. Verse 3 to 11. Then he sacrificed. He was still dealing with Adonijah. So Solomon's sacrifice was not just about getting money. It was to establish his throne. Yeah. The king went to Gibeon by night and sacrificed there. Are you here? If as a believer, you have not given a thousand dollars on God's altar, hello, you have not really stood in the realm of the spirit to fight your battles. You are still fighting with mouth only. 1 Samuel 11, verse 12. If your destiny is under threat, stop playing Mr. Love or Love. Apapa warfare, mbomire nyeyeko ema bebe Mr. Love Lover, who is ever said. Power of a a smiley face. To my blushing cheeks. It's your destiny. Play with it. Like you have a spare one. <laughs> then the people say to Samuel, they spoke to the man of God. Say they spoke to the man of God. Who is he who said Saul shall not reign over us? Bring the men that we will put them to death. I'm going to attack this from another perspective. Who is it online? Who is saying our apostle will not rise? 
It's not so. It's not so. Who said this? It is the people who are following King Saul. And they went to the man of God and said, who is it that is saying our apostle will not rise? Who is it that is saying prayer shift will not rise? Who is it that is saying we should stop service in the altar? Who are the men? Bring them here. And we are going to deal with them. Lift up your right hand. Say Jehovah. I go to 1 Samuel 11 verse 12. We are coming before you. And saying who are the men that are speaking against our father and our mother in the faith? Who are the men fighting prayer shift? Who are the men? Bring them here. Let us lay them. Open your mouth and begin to pray. It's not a game. Bring them here. 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 I remember when I was young, I would go to church and uh, see my gogo. I learned something from gogo. You didn't get it. There are parental figures. I paid Zawana, Mazai. That was some put. Because who wants to attack out Gamazai? Are you here? Are you here? I'm going to be some room. And this is But this is very some put. <laughs> Do you know why? China. Hey, Masaya, Masaya. Zaira Gorne destiny raro. Pangogrufa Solomon through Zaira Gorne Solomon. Imagine if Bathsheba Agajiga Zaira Gorne Solomon. She would have robbed us of understanding a level of wealth. God now to death is preaching through the wealth of Solomon. Who is Bathsheba? Kutaora Solomon. Are you getting it? So God has a plan for Zairo. You a plan young one. Because that's what you are told in Africa. There's no law that says as long as the child, you can prove the child is yours, you're not under arrest. No. Why? Because you have destroyed the destiny. Your destiny will not be destroyed by parental figures. If you don't believe that there are parents who kill children, I don't know what Bible you're reading. I'll give you two examples and I'll close. Number one, there is where there are two women Put it up there. Who came to the king and listened to the issue of the judge? Answered, answered the other night, we agreed with my friend to kill the child and eat. So they said, we must eat your child first. Then the next day, they refused to kill their child. That means that that was a group of witches who ate children. Who ate children. Those witches. They, they'd live for a long time. Why did they cut off one of the legs or one of the hands of the other one and both eat it? Why kill the child? That's example number one. Example number two, there's a king of Moab. Second Kings chapter three, verse 25 to 26, somewhere there. The Bible says that this king, his, his, his kingship was in threat. I'm paraphrasing. His kingship was under threat. There was a war. He was losing the battle. What did he do? He sacrificed his oldest son. That oldest son had a destiny. And that son would have reigned in his place. That means he took the potential of that son and sacrificed it. Yeah. 
Bring the men. Bring the men. Bring them to prayer shift. Lift up your right hand of power. Say parental figures. That are fighting. The destinies. Of young children. Eating young children. We are dealing with you. I said we are dealing with you. Say this week. Any parental figure. Spiritually manipulating. Children. From this place. We will deal with you. Our destinies are to advance God's work. You will not get away with it. We are raising a standard. Open your mouth and pray one minute. <laughs> Hallelujah. 